Your iPhone isn't just a phone, it's the most powerful productivity tool that you own. But chances are you're only using 10% of its potential. So in this video I'm going to show you why you should only be using a handful of specific apps and the changes you need to make to your iPhone that will turn it into a productivity powerhouse. First, let me show you why you need to delete every app on your phone. You probably have 50, 100 or even more apps on your phone, but just imagine your iPhone is a bit like a cluttered desk. You know that there are important things in there somewhere, but when you need to find them, it's a nightmare. You see, most people only use about nine apps regularly each day, so there's a secret to stop us drowning in a sea of icons. And it starts with getting decluttered, and there's vital three steps to this process. First, take a look at your home screen and folders. What we want to do is organise apps based on how we use them, not by the type of apps. For example, instead of a folder called social media, we could create one called client communication that will include email, messaging apps and work-related social apps such as LinkedIn. Then we could have one for organisation, and that could include our to-do apps, our calendar reminders and note-taking apps. Once we've got our apps better organised, we need to get focused. But what do I mean by this? Well, you see, Apple introduced focus modes across all of its devices. And here on the iPhone, this means we can have a customised home screen that's dedicated solely to the tasks that you're doing, allowing us to clear all the other irrelevant apps out of view. As an example, perhaps we have a focus mode for when we're working or studying. This screen can be arranged to only have the apps related to your tasks, such as your office apps. But what then about when we're not working? We might want our social media apps back up front for easy access and messaging with friends and family. Now, if you're wondering, why would we bother? Well, think of it this way. Would you keep a TV in your home office if you use this space for working? Probably not. Would you keep a microwave in the living room? To set up your own focus modes, it's as easy as going into settings, focus, and then under customized screens, you can choose which of those home screens you want to show up when you're in that focus mode. But what do you do if you're in a focus mode and you need to get to an app that's no longer in the screen without switching focus? Well, that's where we can use the easy search function. And there's two ways that we can access this. First, just swipe down in your home screen and you're taken into the search. Then start by typing the name of the app and you can instantly jump right in. Another way is to have this search icon appear at the bottom. If you don't see this, then head over into settings, home screen and app library. And you can toggle on the show on home screen option just here. But here's the thing. Okay, so we've decluttered our home screen, but we need to go further so that you can get a huge 10 times increase to your productivity. And the way to do that is looking at your built-in apps, a bit like a Swiss army knife. They're incredibly versatile, but most people never come close to using anything more than the very basic functions. So let's look a little bit closer at these three core productivity apps. Starting with Notes. Now you probably think this is just a basic Notes app, right? Well think again, because over recent years Apple has been sneaking in some extra useful features without so much as a fanfare. Here's a quick rundown of some of the extra features. You can arrange notes in folders and subfolders. You can pin important notes. You can draw in notes. You can add in web links with previews in notes. You can add hyperlinks to other notes. You can add tags and then search and filter for those tags. Talking of which, you can also now use smart folders to automatically organize your notes. You can scan documents or photos and add markup too. Write a quick note, lock notes with a password or even your face ID. Notes can be viewed both as lists but also as a gallery view sorted by a variety of ways. You can filter by attachments, share notes with others and collaborate on notes together. Export notes, use checklists in notes, format text within notes. Okay, so you get the idea. Notes is brimming to the top with features that can really help you get organised. But we can go a step further and that's by harnessing the power of reminders. You see, in iOS 18, reminders got a bit of an upgrade. Sure, we can see our tasks due today, scheduled, flagged and completed, but did you know you can now have smart lists as well? These mean you can have a task inside your today view that might include, say, three subtasks, and you can now see all your subtasks at once. You can also sort your today view to suit your workflow, whether that's overdue tasks first, then all day reminders, and then maybe timed apps which can be displayed under morning, afternoon and evening. And just in case you delete a task accidentally, there's now a recently deleted list so you can quickly get it back. And just like in Notes, we can also use tags within our Reminders tasks. One more thing is that Reminders can also now show in the calendar when they have a specific date and time. But talking of calendar, that too has also had a recent overhaul, bringing it in line with alternative paid apps. Not only can you now create, view, edit and complete a reminder directly in the calendar app, but you now also have some really useful ways to view your calendars with compact, single day, multi-day and list views. There's even a newly designed month view, giving you a clear overview of your month ahead. 
You can also add location and travel time to events, make them repeat at any intervals and set alarms. As you'd expect, Apple Calendar also supports multiple calendars. So in addition to our own Apple calendars, we can add in Google and Microsoft calendars in there too, with color coding to help distinguish between them. But even with the most efficient setup, there's still one critical piece of the puzzle missing. What good is a streamlined system if you can't remember all the important stuff? You see, there's a way for you to never forget anything important ever again. So when you pair your iPhone with this system, you'll level up your productivity game to unimaginable heights. And it's all here in this video. Watch this and you'll never forget anything ever again.